All right, so here we're going to look at configuring our own pop-up um, as opposed to not having one or using like a default pop-up that was defined like say in RTS Online. All right, so uh, before we begin, let's make let's do a quick review of some of the other components before we talk about the the pop-up. All right, so again, we had to we had to reference the API, both the CSS and the JavaScript, so we could use it. Um, we defined some st a style for the view div, which basically just is the full extent, no margin, no padding, fills the full viewport. And then we have this script tag, or this, within the script tag, we create um, the map object, which we'll look at in a minute. And then, um, again, the only thing that's really in the body here is just that div, and we're using the view div ID, which we reference when we create the map. So some other reviews in the script, uh, we need these modules. So we have the map, the map view, and the feature layer module. And then, um, again, we have to call the functions in the same order that the modules are called in. Then we have this uh, creating a new map using this the map function here. Again, it's, you're basically creating an instance of that class. And we're setting the base map to satellite. And then we're placing in the view div setting a center and uh, as a, a longitude latitude pair and that's again as an array and a zoom level. Okay, so that's all old news. So let's look at what's actually new with this. Okay, so this var equals this var template that's defining the template for the pop-up. And you can see this note here that it autocasts as a new pop-up template. Okay, so this specifies the title. Note that anything in the curly brackets here, that's referencing a field name. So it's going to be data for country name, and then instead of printing that, it's going to actually replace with the attribute from that column, so the country name. And then we have the content, and these are the fields. So um, we're looking at the field types, and then the info about each field. So um, the, for the FID, that's his label, and it's by, it's not going to be visible, set to false. So basically, we're, we're not going to show the FID. That's really not useful information. Um, and then we have the country name field. We give it a label, and we're going to show it. This status is UN status. So again, we give it a label, which is, again, like an alias, and we show it. For numeric data, you can specify some additional arguments in the format um, option. So now this is, so in here, we are saying we're, we're, this is the field name, this is the population, it's going to be visible, we're going to um, use the digit separator, so it's going to add in the commas, and um, it's not going to have any decimal points, which doesn't really make sense in that situation. Um, and then this is similar, it's numeric, so this is the field name, this is how it's going to be labeled, it's going to be displayed. We're going to have the separators round off to the nearest whole number. Then we have this caller map field, which is just used to assign like random callers to the countries. So we're not going to show it. We're not going to show the area, and we're not going to show the perimeter, or the which in this case is the shape length field. Um, and then once we add the layer to the map, so here we're using the feature layer function there. So we're linking to the layer. This is something from my ArcGIS Online account. And then uh, we're just basically saying output all the fields. And then the pop-up template will be this template that we defined. So that's how, it's a, how your pop-up templates apply to a layer. And then we'll add it to the map. So we go over here now and we click on an object. It should have the layout that we asked for. So um, again, that's the title. That's showing the country name, UN status, population, area, and square miles. And it's dynamic, so it'll change as you click on different countries. Okay, um, before we end, let's just have a look at the structure of this. Okay, so this template object is basically a really kind of it's kind of a complex Java, um, JavaScript object. So again, the whole thing is in curly brackets, right? So that's where it ends. So this whole thing is basically an object, and then we have our property. So this is a property that holds us. So this title property holds a string, and then we have this content property, 
which is an array. So if we look there's where it starts, there's where it ends. And inside of that array, it basically is an array that stores a bunch of objects. So we have all this information um, for a specific field is stored as an object. So it's really just a combination of objects and arrays and, and properties and you know, name value pairs. Um, so a lot of it, a lot of creating something like this is just getting the bracketing and, uh, and the hierarchy correct.